Hello, good morning. Our topic today is dealing with anger. An angry person stirs of conflict. Proverbs 29:22. And a hot-tempered person commits many sins. Good morning once again. We are talking about storm proving our lives. We understand from recent events that the key to surviving a storm is to prepare for it, just like weather storms. The storms of our lives, things like disappointments, hurts, pain, betrayal, temptation, and anger are storms that brew inside of us and when left unchecked can spin out of control and damage our lives and the lives of others. This is why we are going to look at this thing called anger in this video. Some Bible quotations here are Proverbs 19:19. 19, 19, a hot-tempered person must pay the penalty. Rescue them and you will have to do it again. Proverbs 14, 29. Whoever is patient has great understanding, but who is quick-tempered displays folly. May the Lord help us. Anger is a very bad thing. Just anger is a natural emotion. God himself expresses anger, but when anger becomes our primary emotion, when it is used inappropriately, it disrupts the way we view the world around us. You know what I mean? What are the thoughts that flow through your mind when you are angry? Are they pleasant and rational? Or are they seeking to hurt others as they have hurt you? Anger is a warning sign. Anger is there to help us understand our life. Also, destructive attitudes in us. Most of the time, our anger manifests itself as a secondary emotion. Emotions that usually precede anger are fear, hurt, and frustration. These are energy-draining emotions. We don't want to address this because they take time, energy, and vulnerability to address so what do we do we become when we become angry sometimes angry is the proper response to an action or event anger lets us know there is a problem it calls us to ask what about this situation is making me angry but anger can lead to sinful action if not handled correctly the believer should understand that there is appropriate and inappropriate anger and attempt to ensure that his or her anger, like God's, is proper to the situation. Cain's anger was used wrongly. As we read in the Bible, let's look at a few daily verses with unrighteous anger. Sometimes Cain's anger was used wrongly. Genesis chapter 4 verse 1 to 6. Adam made love to his wife Eve and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, With the help of the Lord I have brought forth a man. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel kept flocks and Cain walked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions, from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with a favor on Abel and his offering. But on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? Sometimes anger is the proper response to an action or event. Anger lets know, let us know that there is a problem. Anger can lead to sinful action if not handled correctly. Okay? So whenever you, you are, that thing that will be like, will bring anger to you, just forget it and move on. Let us read Matthew 5.22. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka, is 
answerable to the court, and anyone who says, you fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell. Proverbs 16.32 says, It is better to be patient than powerful. It is better to win control over yourself than over whole cities. So when you are angry, please, please be patient. Proverbs 14.29 says, Righteous anger is also spoken of in the Bible about Moses, Jesus, and the Pharisees. Jesus cleansed the temple. When Moses approached the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, his anger burned and he threw the tables out of his hands, breaking them to pieces at the foot of the mountain. Exodus 32, 19. You know, on the case of Moses, anger made him not to go to the paradise, to the promised land. Mark 3, 5 says, He looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts, said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. So, you can be angry, but try to be quiet. Try to be calm. Because Almighty God will restore Whatever the enemy wants, God will restore you. Okay? I want us to understand that anger is a natural emotion. But that's in our lives. It manifests itself as a secondary emotion. I wanted us to see example of righteous and unrighteous anger and remind us that both righteous and unrighteous anger can go south quickly. Paul understands this and cautions us to be angry when appropriate, but not to sin during it. Paul calls us to be angry when appropriate, but not to sin during it. Ephesians 4, verse 26. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. See, Paul understood that any anger can take us place we do not want to go. He reminds us to not sin because he knows that it is easy to fall into sinful behaviors when we are angry. He reminds us to not hold on to our anger and allow it to stew. He knew that the more you think about it and internalize it, you begin to allow your anger to grow and become sinful, to give the devil a place to begin destroying you. Please, my brothers and sisters, note of this, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. The book of James chapter 1 verse 19, I will close with this. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this, everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry may the lord almighty be with you guide you protect you in jesus name